Okay. So, could you tell us who you are and what school you teach at? Um, I'm Angela Lee, and my um, I'm working at Weston High School as a history teacher. I teach um, primarily ninth and tenth grade world history. I'm guessing. Well, I'm still guessing it's going to be twenty. And um, why don't you tell us why you think teacher travel is important? I think it's really important for. Um, for the teachers who really want to get a sense of um, a different place, it's different from their own culture. Um, though I am Chinese, i basically grown up, I've, only, I've moved to the United States when I was two, so being here, it's still a very foreign culture to me, and a lot of things I was just telling someone today, that a lot of things that my mom and my mother-in-law do makes a lot of sense now, mm -hmm. and that in the United States, culturally, it just makes no sense. For instance, washing hands without soap. You know, they don't have a lot of access to that here. Um, and then growing up um, fairly poor, you know, financially they're fine now, but they still, some of those cultural practices, I think, uh, that I didn't really understand before, mm -hmm. um, has become really clear why they do that. Because mm -hmm. that's what they grew up with, that's what they did their whole lives before they immigrated. Mm -hmm. And how are, how are you going to bring your insights and understandings back to the U.S. to um, to help transfer for your kids, to help um, your students understand better? I teach a modern world history class, so this is really perfect. I mean, China is one of the places I've been teaching. Um, in my first year of teaching, I was I took on the ninth grade and um, ninth grade curriculum, and they had a week on China, and I said, that how can that be? And, you know, I could already project that China was going to be very important and that kids really need to understand. Um, and I even have more students that come back to me and said, this is Lee, you were right. You know, all that stuff you told us about China, it's, it's really come true. So I, I would say about 10 years ago, kids were saying, no, we're number one. You know, there's no competitors in sight. But my students today would say, boy, we need to work harder because we see, we see, some, we see competitors catching up. Mm -hmm. um, and they, they see the importance of learning Chinese, learning about Chinese history, learning about Chinese politics, learning about the government. Um, and I would say that it's important for um, students to learn about India too. Um, all the BRIC, BRIC nations, that's Brazil, India, um, Russia, and China. I think those are really, those are the up and coming nations. And to be successful in today's globalized world, they'll need to know about it. And then, personally, what are you going to bring back for yourself? Your learning and your growth and, and um, experiences on this trip, what, what do you feel like you want to bring back and try and instill in your life as you go back to the States? I think one thing I've been discovering is just the value they place, place on education. And I think that's always been a part of my life. My, all my um, mom's side of the family has always, they've been teachers. Um, all the way back to my grandfather, who was the principal of the school. Um, but that's something that's harder for me, just growing up in America, and then sometimes seeing the way students treat, treat teachers. But there's a lot of value placed on education. You can see just by the way they set up the schools and how respectful students are, and Confucius is everywhere. Um, and I don't know how I'm going to incorporate that, but I just think it's really important that we see how successful they are as a culture, as a civilization that had lasted thousands of years. They must be doing something right. Mm -hmm. So I think that's kind of important to bring back. Thank you. Great.